We are covering Colorado first on CBS News Colorado at 6 and we are feeling the season's change here in Colorado. We saw a big drop in temperatures overnight in the metro area. Yeah, it was chilly. Wasn't yeah, it? it was. We have team coverage for you tracking all of these changes. We'll get to First Alert Chief Meteorologist Dave Aguilera in just a moment. Your reporter in the mountains, Spencer Wilson, is going to kick things off though from Summit County. Spencer, you spoke with meteorologists today about what impact a La Nina season might have on us. A La Nina, yes, there is a chance that we get some additional precipitation in the northern mountains of Colorado. But again, this is a chance. It's a coin flip after a coin flip after a coin flip. And if we get all those right, sure, might get some more snow. But there's a very real chance we just have a typical Colorado snow season. As snow starts to settle atop our Rocky Mountains in Colorado, it begs the question, just how much snow could we get? And what will dictate that age old question? What La Nina refers to is a sea surface temperature in the Pacific Ocean where you have cooler than normal waters off of the uh, eastern equatorial Pacific, kind of off of the coast of South America. La Nina is poised to play a part. If those bulbs move a little bit north or south, that'll have a big impact on Colorado. Uh, but right now, you know, looking out throughout the winter, uh, we're sort of in that 50-50 uh, zone. But the thing is, Colorado is insulated from change from weather systems like El Nino and La Nina. They can still affect us, but they typically have a weaker effect than, say, the Pacific Northwest or Southwest. But whether or not it hits Colorado, the La Nina does seem to be on the way. You know, we're looking at a 70% chance, so that's better than a coin flip, but it's not so good that you can bank on it. The Eagles probably had at least a 70% chance of beating the Broncos yesterday, and we saw how that went. So the bottom line is this. Even if La Nina does develop, you know, I, I would say that the headline there is if La Nina develops, northern ski resorts favored for uh, above average snow, kind of winter park northward. Now, of course, the very best way to know what's about to happen up here in the high country all over Colorado is stick with our first alert weather team. CBS Colorado works really hard to bring you accurate and up to date forecasts so you know what to expect when you get out here. I count on them. I think you should too. Live in Summit County, Spencer Wilson covering Colorado first. Ah, Spencer, they love you too. I love that. Okay, thanks so much. We're taking a live look outside now. We want to see how things are shaping up out there. Looks like it's still a little dreary. Michael, still yeah, cold out kind there. Kind of the gray. story of the day. I know. Grab your blanket. Let's get things over to First Alert Chief Meteorologist Dave Aguilar. Dave, finally feeling like fall, but it may not last long. I don't think so. Yeah, yeah. And and if I I didn't ever say on TV I love Spencer, I love Spencer. And if I was next to him, I'd high five him for that one for sure.